Now, I know a lot of us feel quite limited by our strength. We're always saying things like, we don't have any upper body strength. When I first started out, I started out with a group of people, some guys, some girls, and the guys were out there doing V5s, V6s, and I was still stuck in my V3s. Ugh, it's just because you're stronger. Now, what a lot of us might actually have is lower body strength. If you go to the gym, you're probably doing lots of squats, ab work, and believe it or not, this will actually help your climbing. Climbing's not all about your arms. Yes, it does help, but good technique also uses your core and your lower body. One of the things that people advise new climbers to do is to practice climbing with your arms straight, hanging just like that. And the reason is this will help you avoid the inclination to pull up with your arms and use only your arm strength when climbing. If you actually watch a lot of experienced climbers climb, you'll see that they keep their arms quite straight. And this is because it takes a lot less strength to simply hang and let your body structure hold some of your body weight versus actively trying to pull up. So when you keep your arms straight, what you're training your body to do is to use the other parts, like your legs, to push yourself up to the next hold instead of always trying to pull with your arms. So if you have a strong lower body, use that lower body. And if you don't and you just feel like strength is your weakness and you're not very powerful anywhere, that's okay too. Because you know what? That will help you to really focus intentionally on your technique and focus on how to climb the most efficiently you can. It will really encourage you to figure out the best way to do any given climb and to save your energy while doing so. One of my favorite climbers, Yang Kim, she does this all the time. She climbs very, very efficiently and every single body movement is like optimized to save her energy. She's also one of the shortest climbers that I know. She's an elite climber, but she's incredible. Don't be discouraged. Use this as an opportunity to perfect and practice your technique. One of the things that I love doing most is climbing the same thing over and over again. So if something feels easy for you or you feel like you've done it once but you're not quite sure that you can do it again, I would encourage you to keep climbing it. Climb it until you've perfected it. You basically, your body has memorized the movements and you know how to do it so efficiently, so gracefully, so beautifully. And that's one way that you can really find out what types of movements come easier for you and what types of shortcuts you can take to make climbing a lot easier. For me personally, after about four months of climbing and one month of lockdown, so one month of not doing anything, I actually found out that I could do three pull-ups. And before this, I had never been able to do a pull-up in my entire life. It's always been a goal of mine. I don't know how many annual resolutions it's on, but I was never able to do even a single pull-up. All the way back from my PE days when they make you do beat tests and all that. You know, one day I was like, this is the year that I'm gonna get my pull-up. I'm climbing, I must be building some upper body strength. Sounds like a good plan. What I did was I started watching videos on how to get your first pull-up because I didn't think I could do a pull-up and they teach you some progressions. So I was trying all of these and then I mentioned it to my parents and my brother and my brother was like, how many pull-ups can you do? And I was like, I don't know. I don't think I can do any. And he's like, have you tried? I was like, no, good point. Let me try. So I tried it and I actually was able to do three pull-ups, three pull-ups from zero to three. Long story short, just climb. As you climb, you will build up your strength. But if you want to figure out how to get there faster, a really, really easy thing you can do is to down climb. Now I've talked about down climbing before in another video. And honestly, girl, it's a way to work on your strength, to build out muscle in a fun way. You're adding more reps in and you don't even have to go to the gym. At the beginning, it might seem a bit less productive because you're doing less climbs in that session, but really it will help you build up that strength and that muscular endurance, which will help you later on. It also reduces your chance of injury. So it's like a win-win. You're building strength, which will enable you to do more climbs in the future, 
and you're also reducing your chance of injury and your chance of hurting yourself and then not coming back to climb. And trust me, you'll feel so boss once you build up more strength and you can start doing overhangs. Overhangs are my absolute favorite thing to climb now. I get so much energy and adrenaline when I do an overhang problem. I hope that was helpful. Please do support me and give me a like or a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if there's something you're interested in or confused about and hit the subscribe button.